Hey there. Welcome to Watch Recap, and today, I will recap a fantasy, comedy movie called, Click. Okay, so let's start. Michael Newman is an architect by profession. He lives with his family which includes his wife Donna, and his kids Ben and Samantha. Michael's boss John Ammer, demands him to work more than necessary and as a result, Michael struggles to spend time with his family, but he still manages himself some moments with his family like watching Dragon Tales with his kids. One day, John gives Michael a golden opportunity to design a luxury hotel for a Japanese company. He promises Michael a promotion if he can make this deal happen. Michael is so happy getting this chance but soon realizes he has to go camping with his family. And later he also missed to see Ben's swimming race, and is jealous to see the bonding between Ben and his swimming coach Bill. And so makes fun of his swimming trunks. The family gathers at the 4th of July fireworks, Michael is continuously talking to his boss on the phone which annoys his mother Trudy. She says that Michael will die early if he continues to overwork and eat junk food. Meanwhile Michael's father Ted, entertains the kids with his coin tricks, they love the trick and asks how he did that, Ted replies that a magician never reveals his trick, and even his son Michael doesn't know about this secret. Later at home, Michael asks Donna to postpone the camping trip as he has to work, and then continues to watch an Asian architecture documentary for his work. But he hurts himself by turning on the helicopter by Ben's toy remote instead of the TV remote. Tired of always mistaking with the remotes, he goes to the supermarket to buy a universal remote. He enters a retail store, bed, bath, and beyond. He looks everywhere for a remote but can't find one. Tired of searching he lays on a bed, but when he looks around, he sees a store section called Beyond. And when he goes inside to check, he is welcomed by Morty. Michael explains his problem to Morty who then takes him to a large warehouse called Way Beyond. He gives Michael a suspicious remote for free, when asked why, he says good guys need a break, but says it's non-refundable, and all he have to do is point it at the thing and press the buttons to control it. Reaching home, Michael continues to watch the documentary and do his work, but his dog Sundance disturbs him and barks continuously as he wants to go outside. Michael then points the remote at him and presses the volume down button, surprisingly the dog becomes mute and Michael is shocked. He later takes the dog out but is frustrated as the dog takes too long to find a spot to poop. So he points the remote at the dog and presses fast forward, Sundance then quickly finishes his work and gets inside. This time Michael becomes sure that this remote actually works, and can control real life too. He later uses the remote to see his past life, and sees himself playing football with his friends at Lake Winnipesaukee. Meanwhile Morty gives him his phone number in case he has any question about the remote. Michael then uses the remote to quickly finish family gatherings, arguments, and even intercourse, fast forward made him finish fast disappointing Donna. He realizes that he doesn't remember anything he said or anything that happened during the fast forward, so he calls Morty and asks him about this. Morty says that during fast forward his body goes into autopilot, his body will be present at that moment but his mind will be skipping that part, and so he will not remember anything. After this, Michael uses fast forward to skip hard times like sickness, showers, and traffic. He then shows the design of hotel he made on autopilot to Japanese businessman Mr. Watsuhita, the meeting goes well, but John being unaware makes fun of Japanese iconic baseball players by confusing their names with Asian dishes. This makes Mr. Watsuhita to have a private talk with his employees, and so Michael tries to overhear their conversation but doesn't understand Japanese. So he changes their language to English and increases the volume. Mr. Watsuhita is saying that he doesn't like Michael's design and says he must have taken inspiration from a bad documentary, they needed more rooms for profit not a stupid river in the lobby. Mr. Watsuhita then orders his team to end the meeting so they can go have jello shots at America's greatest cultural achievement TGI Fridays. But when they were about to end the meeting, Michael take ideas from the overheard conversation and impresses them again. He tears the old design and says he will create a new one with more rooms for their profit and suggests them to go and have jello shots at TGI Fridays. Mr. Watsuhita is pleased to hear that and finally gives the contract to Michael's company. 
Hoping for a promotion, Michael buys gifts for his wife and kids. Donna asks why, so Michael says John promoted him to partnership. Donna is so happy for her husband, but the happiness doesn't last too long, as the very next day Michael finds he is not promoted and he will not be promoted until he makes the construction plan for the hotel and gets Mr. Watsuhita's commitment which will take many months. Michael gets mad and pauses John so he can fart on his face. Michael then plans to fast forward to the time when he finishes the hotel project, Morty gives him an advice and reminds him about the leprechaun from a serial advertisement. The leprechaun always chases a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow but when he finally gets there he realizes it's just cornflakes. Michael doesn't understand the meaning of this but still postpones the idea of fast forward. At home, Michael takes out his frustration on the kids and they cry when Michael makes fun of their idea to make a pizza and pickle house, and also argues with his wife. Later, when he realizes his mistake he decides to use the remote to fix everything, and fast forwards to the day of his promotion. He finds out that he got promoted after a whole year, and during that period of time his relation with Donna went down and they went to marriage counselor. Ben and Samantha are no longer interested in Dragon Tales and instead watches CSI. Sundance also died and they got a new dog. Michael cries and regrets not letting his late dog hump his leg, which confuses Donna but she hugs him anyways. He promises he will change and become a better man for her, he begs her not to leave him. Donna kisses him but the remote automatically fast forwards to the end of the intercourse, Michael again finds an unsatisfied Donna laying next to him. He is confused why the remote fast forwarded his life automatically and so confronts Morty about this. Morty says that the remote is now using its memory to do what Michael wants automatically. Morty explains he was on fast forward for a whole year and so the remote now remembers him skipping events like intercourse, showering, arguing and many others, and will skip them automatically from now. Michael regrets using the remote now and returns it to Morty but it comes back to his hand automatically, he even tries to destroy the remote but nothing works. Next day, Michael goes to the office on a bicycle without taking a shower so the remote won't skip the moments. John tells Michael about his plans to retire and travel to Morocco, and his retirement will make Michael the new head of the international division at the firm. Michael is surprised, and John also says that every work done by him is gold and one day he might become the CEO of the company. Suddenly, Michael is fast forwarded to the future where he is the CEO and wealthy, but now looks like this. He goes to his home and finds that Samantha and Ben are now teenagers and Ben looks a lot like him while Samantha is dating someone. Donna has divorced him and is dating Ben's swimming teacher Billy. Michael is filled with rage seeing Billy kiss Donna and so gets into a fight with him. The dog attacks Michael and his head hits on the wall making him unconscious. Michael wakes up after six long years, and Donna tells him he went into coma and turned out to have cancer and was treated for years. After healing from cancer he had a heart attack too and also is now not too fat because of many surgeries. At the company, Michael sees an adult Ben who is fit because of working out with Billy. He offers to take Ben, Samantha, and their grandparents out for an ice cream, but Ben reveals that Michael's father Ted has already died, and this devastates Michael. He visits Ted's grave and uses the remote to look into his past when he last saw his dad. Ted came inside the office with Ben and offered to take Ben and Michael out for dinner, but Michael on autopilot ignored them and asked them to go by themselves. Ted still tried to convince him by showing his coin trick, but Michael shouts at him and said he always knew about his trick. The old man apologized and left with tears in his eyes. Michael is drowning into regret and shame. Morty appears and apologizes for taking his father away and reveals that he is the angel of death. Michael gets mad and attacks Morty but is helpless in front of angel of death. So he uses the remote and fast forwards again, he reaches the time when Ben is getting married. Michael is so happy to see his mother Trudy. He also meets a grown-up Samantha, and while Donna offers him a dance on their favorite song, Michael hears Samantha call Billy dad and is heartbroken as he is not even a dad to his kids anymore. He gets a heart attack and collapses. He later wakes up in the hospital with Ben and Samantha by his side. Ben tells Michael that he is skipping his honeymoon because of business and then leaves. 
Thinking his son will do the same mistake as he did, he rushes out to talk to Ben but his body gave up on the road. His family surrounds him and he then tells Michael to always put family before work, he apologizes to Samantha for being a bad father, and confesses to Donna that he will always love her and passes away. But then, he wakes up in the bed, bath, and beyond store. Filled with joy he celebrates as it was just a bad dream. He is happy to see his crappy cheap car again, and immediately goes to home. At home he hugs his kids and Donna and promises to spend more time with them. Just then, he sees the remote with a letter from Morty, saying he is given a second chance because, good guys need a break. He then throws the remote and is happy as it doesn't comes back in his hands. This was a really heartwarming film isn't it? This is where the movie ends, subscribe to the channel if you love movies, like and share the video, we appreciate it, see you again.